We've waited, we've waited, and we've waited some more, and it is here. Our first heat wave of 2023 will likely be over the next three days. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We are expecting temperatures at or above 90 degrees inland here as we go through Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That means we're breaking out all the heat safety tips, including this last one, because I get a number of you who message me and say, hey, don't forget about our pets, and you're right. You know, if you're walking on the blacktop and you're jumping off to the grass because it's so hot for you, it's probably going to be that hot for your pets as well. You want to make sure they have plenty of water outside or especially if you don't have air conditioning. Now, the way we're getting this heat wave is a little bit different than how we usually get it. Typically, we have a ridge of high pressure overhead or at the surface, we get a high pressure over Bermuda that brings us that hazy, hot and humid weather. Not this time. We have an upper level low pressure near Hudson Bay and around that counterclockwise spinning low pressure system, we're going to get some of that really hot air that's over in Denver and in New Mexico and kind of waft it our way. We're going to get a piece of it, not all of it, but enough to at least get us into the 90s here for three days in a row. We take a look at our future cast and our winds. Now, notice on Tuesday, winds coming out of the north. Now, as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, you'll see it shift more out of the west and the southwest, especially at the coast, where I do believe we'll get those daily sea breezes Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday here, especially Wednesday and Thursday, where I think you'll have a bigger difference between inland and shore temps. But look at what we got. No rain to speak of all the way from today until at least Thursday early afternoon. But I do believe as we go into the later afternoon and evening, there is a threat for severe weather, mainly in the form of damaging winds. So keep that in mind as you go into Thursday between, again, 3 to 9 p.m. We'll take a look at our muggy meter. Dew points low for today. So we have heat without the humidity here. And that will be true for Wednesday as well. And then we're kind of back to our muggier ways as we go into Thursday and beyond. But you'll take a look at our heat index and our temperatures as we go into Tuesday. This is 5.30 a.m. here. Of course, no heat index really to speak of. But during the afternoon, look at Momora. 83 degrees for our temperature, 83 for our heat index. There's really no difference. That only happens when your air is dry enough. We see this often in Vegas or in Phoenix or Flagstaff, Arizona. Not so much here in Jersey, even on Wednesday. 92 in Hamilton, 91 with our heat index here, even Atlantic City, right around that heat index and temperature are kind of equal here. And then we go into Thursday, that's where things get a little bit different here. You'll see, again, we go to Hamilton, 93 with our air temperature, our heat index, 95 degrees. Now, we've been much hotter in the summer's past, but this is our first really extended, prolonged period of this heat that we will see. Take a look at our on-the-water forecast over the next couple of days here. Wave heights 1 to 2 feet on Tuesday. Winds come from the north first and then flip out of the south as the sea breeze develops here. And then as we go into our uh, Wednesday for you here, we're talking about winds coming uh, from the offshore direction during the morning. And then they flip back to onshore during the afternoon. Wave heights only about a foot here. So actually really good conditions to go in the water, take a swim here. And water temps are warm too. We're in the low 70s, and we should stay that way as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. So let's take a look at our inland seven-day forecast. We'll take you home. Average high temperature inland, 87 degrees. We're going to be seven degrees above that. There were bouts for Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, temperatures go down a little bit, but humidity is going up. So it's actually probably going to feel the hottest on Thursday, even though Wednesday will be our hottest with our air temperature. We go to the weekend, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, all about the same. But Sunday is what I'm watching for because there is the potential for a prolonged period of rain with a washout possible. It's just a possibility. We'll tighten up those details for you as we go over the next couple of days.